Hello everyone, Chuckles here. So, day one of AFM, which is actually day five, because this thing has been going on since the fourth, since Wednesday. This is an industry badge, which means that I get three days. This is just one step up from the day badge. I heard that uh, this uh, whole thing gets calmer <laughs> today and the last three days and that it was very hectic uh, before now. Still pretty hectic as far as I was concerned. So I first stood in line and got three business cards immediately from three television and filmmakers who were just standing in the line waiting to get into registration. Registration, they have you, uh, you know, give your ID and then they give you these two things. This has all the companies and the, the screenings that they're, they're going to be showing and uh, the show directory, just like general stuff. And a coupon for... Oh! Free swag bag! Yeah! So, there. <laughs> so, uh, I don't even... I don't even know what's in this. I have no idea. Uh, well, when I first walked in the door, even before I went into, uh, even before I went into to, to registration, when I first walked in the door, it's like, oh, here, here, here's uh, every, every trade paper, or at least three of them. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, a bunch of uh, Independent Film and Television Alliance, 29th Israel Film Festival, Flix premiere. Shoot in Lithuania. Shoot in South Africa. Oh, this! I saw this! I saw this, um... I saw some people using this. This is a, a stand with a calendar. Or... I think it's like, yeah, like a book stand, I guess. Like, you put it... And then... Or like that. Yeah, they're like, ah! Yeah. So yeah, you put... Maybe it's just 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 like a cool looking calendar, but maybe you can like put stuff like there. I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh, this. Ha ha. So there's one of these in here, but I got another one from a lady on the floor. The the HKTDC Asia's largest entertainment market. Hong Kong International Film Festival. Uh, International Film and TV Market. And apparently I can get, like, free admission to this thing? I need to... I'm, I'm gonna be checking this out. I don't know what, what's, what that's about, but I need to... I just... <laughs> they, they, they said, like, she just needed my business card and she would, like, just give it to someone. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll check that out. Finance. Film finance. Say goodbye to subtitles with this app. Oh, oh the bombing. I saw a trailer for this playing on the on the floor. It looks interesting. It's like a Chinese film, but it's got uh, Bruce Willis and other people. Oh, something heavy down in the bottom here. Ooh. Film Dubai Production Guide 2015. Big, thick, heavy book. Wow. So, huh. Okay. Stuff that is filming in Dubai and information for when you want to film in Dubai. Cool. Bunch of promotional offers. Quebec. Hmm. Taipei Film Commission. I saw someone else with this. I don't know what this is. These things down here look like temporary tattoos. This is... Oh, I see. This is really int... What? What? I... I have no idea what this even... This bag is awesome. I just really like this bag. It's really nice. And I will be... This stuff is now out of it, and I will be using it to carry everything else that I'm going to be getting tomorrow and the next day, presumably. So, 
wandered around quite a bit. Uh, didn't I, I made a list of all the Japanese companies that I wanted to hit. I only got two, like, two of them today because I was just running around doing all other kinds of things. I went to a, uh, a uh, round table discussion, which was actually a flat panel discussion, but you know. It was a discussion of faith-based films and also a comparison between strictly faith-based films and Hollywood films that have a large faith component. Mike Medavoy was there, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name properly, but big time producer, and he was talking about the latest film that he's produced, The 33, and talking about the real story of the, of the miners and um, the, how the film has a strong faith component to it. So that was very interesting. Met with a composer, an editor, a visual effects guy, and several other random filmmakers I happened to bump into that I didn't actually schedule meetings with. And then the last thing I did was uh, go to the filmmakers lounge. Oh, so the the market is mainly in the Lowe's Beach Hotel, but then there are screenings in this other hotel across the way, and then there's another uh, filmmaking resource over here and different things all over the place. Most of the stuff today for me was in uh, the Lowe's, and then the last meeting that I had was actually next door in Le Marigot, not the Marriott, Le Marigot, and it was a meeting of a bunch of different filmmakers who came together to talk about uh, just to meet each other and see what we're up to and show each other our projects and uh, talk about what we need for our films. One of those people uh, is going to be uh, making a film in San Francisco and I'm going to talk to her about possibly helping her out with it. Got quite a bit of interest in a horror and gave out several uh, several of these which I had made in anticipation of doing this, just info sheets basically. Shout out to Rajiv for suggesting that I do this. And made some more appointments tomorrow with various uh, people that I had not already made appointments with. The first person I'm meeting tomorrow, though, in the morning, is a big-time actor. He has been in just all kinds of films, appearing here and there, and he uh, he actually posted on the uh, AFM page that everyone signs up for. It's like basically a social network that's created during the market, saying just basically like, talk to me, I want to be in all your films, talk to me and, and let's let's talk. And so I contacted him and he said, oh yeah, I, I'm definitely interested. And so I'm going to be talking to him first thing in the morning. And then several other people, including those that I just now made meetings with uh, today. And of course, business cards. <laughs> including one from just a guy who was just standing outside of the conference, hanging out, talked to me as I was, I was standing there like, hey, you smoke weed? Um, no. Well, here. I make films about smoking weed. Okay. So, overall a successful first day, I think. I've never done this before, but that's why I'm doing it. And also to make important contacts, which I have. And now I need to make a whole bunch of follow-up emails. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I'm gonna do it all again tomorrow. I will see you then.